Hello my dears, this is Ms. Khanda teaching you a new lesson. For today our topic is about words with LD and FT. But before starting the new lesson, you should give a short revision to die graphs and also their differences from blends. Die means two. Graphs means letters. It means two letters. Two letters are doing what? They are together producing one different sound. For example, child, C and H. If they are separated, if they are not together, they will produce a different sound. Each one of them will produce a different sound. But when they are together, they will produce a different sound from their original. Like child, C and H, they will be Ch, child. P and H, they will be F, telephone. C and H, sh, shock. But blends are two letters. They are coming together, but they are not producing a different sound. They will be just like the original. For example, grapes, skirt, sleep. And also they are pr pronounced and also they are spelled the way they have been written. So there will be no difference. They will not produce a different sound. Okay? They will stay like their original. So as I mentioned, words with LD and FT, they are blends. LD and FT are blends. The consonant blends FT and LD are spelled the way they sound. So the way that you say them and also the way that you spell them is the same. We have examples on page 106. You have gift, sold, left, raft. If you notice, you see that the way that you pronounce them and the way they are, that you are spelling them it's just the same. There is no difference. They are not producing a different sound from their original. Other examples we have held, l and held, swift, f and t, swift, wild, after. The last two examples that you have on your book are drift and wilt. So you have noticed until now that blends just like LD and FT, when you have in a word, they are pronounced the same, they are spelled the same. There will be no difference between their pronunciation and their spelling. That's very easy. Now is the time to check the exercises and try to do them. You can find the exercises on page 106 until page 109. And try to do them all by yourself. Okay? Don't depend on your parents. Okay? Depend on yourself. Page 107, there's an, two exercises on that page. The first one is asking you to write the missing spelling words. You are using the words that you have on page 106 to fill these blanks. Okay. The second exercise is asking you the suffix, suffix, ness, n e double s, means the state of being. Add the suffix ness to each word to make a new word. Then write the new word. So, you just add ness to the end of the words in order to change it to a noun. Okay? And you are going to write the words with ness in the second blanks. 
On page 108, there is another exercise. The first one is antonyms are words that mean the opposite of the other word. Write the spelling word that is an antonym of each word below. What is the antonym of slow? You should find the opposite of slow, okay? For example, fast. Or maybe you have to use the words that you have on the previous pages. Swift, okay? And try to, to do the rest of them by yourself. Okay, the second exercise on that page, you, you are just copying them. You just rewrite the word in order to be use it, how to write it, okay, how to spell it. Gold, mold, craft, tuft. The third exercise is asking you to write the odd word that correctly completes each sentence. You have four blanks. And you know how to, to do that exercise. You are using the words that you have in the second exercise. Gold, mold, craft, tuft. To use them, to write them in the blanks of the last exercise. The other exercises are on page 109. The first one that you are very familiar to it is asking you to write a summary of a movie that you saw or a book that you read. Use at least four words from the box. Write a summary, something like a paragraph, and use at least four of the words from the box. It should be about a movie that you saw previously. Okay. The last exercise, dictionary practice. Identify each word below as being most commonly used as a noun, verb, or adjective. Some words can be more than one part of speech. Use the dictionary in the back if you need help. So, so you are identifying each one of them which one is noun, which one is verb, which one is adjective. Okay? You should find them. And you can use the glossary, the dictionary that you have at the end of your book. So, that was finished. I hope you all have done it by yourself. Don't look at the answer keys if you have not tried to answer all the exercises by yourself. Okay? Because this time, I will be sad about it. And wishing you all perfect health. Stay healthy. Goodbye.